And um, here is Let It Rain. Catch you all later, chat. This is the most hyped loser I've ever seen. Sorry about that, folks. But here we got D3 World versus Podmaster, the UMD showdown. Uh, both of them really wanted me to lose. Fair enough, because hey, it's it's uh, these guys are teammates. These guys form yeah. the Sicilian defense in doubles. But here they actually get to face off in loser semis, which is yeah, pretty screw, solid. Screw these guys. Tell me what just happened. That's what I want to know. Ooh, what just happened is D3 World just fared the crap at a Podmaster, and uh, he did. You're like the you came up here real jovial. You were happy. That's, that's uh, I was trying to commentate all night, and I was stuck in a the sickest uh, loser streak of all time. And uh, right now. Even hey, it's really unfortunate time. when you just keep rattling off wins. You just wanted to hop on commentary, right? It's true. Yeah. Uh, just a commentator, by the way, but that is besides the point, because guess what? We got two great competitors here in Loser Semis, Poe. And again, like I said, both these uh, players repping UMD, even though I, I would assume class is now yeah. out of session. It is. It's made my job a lot easier. Hey, fair enough. Uh, but speaking of not easy jobs, that ledge trapping, have fun with it. Uh, Bondmaster getting around it, though. Very deft. I like that quick jump away, kind of uh, baiting his position. Not something you see players do often as well, which is, it's really good food for thought here. That j Dog guy, he was trying to convince me that move isn't good. It's not, actually. Uh, oh, but, here we go. But if you're a good player, like D3Will is, you can get some phenomenal hits. Oh, yeah. uh, he, case he, in hit point, with, he hit you with that a couple times. Oh, yeah. See, case in point, he's a good player because he can smack me around with that. You know? Yeah. Fair enough. And All right. Well, you know, if you're in good spirits about it, I'm convinced. Oh, I'm happy. Uh, the okay. fact that I even got that far is happy. But I'm I'm happy to see two great players like these continue to lose on. <laughs> I love I love D3 Will. It's now going to be my mission for you to segue into this match. Anytime. I I am I'm a, I want to segue. I want to talk about these players. All I right. Have been, tell me about these players. I've been neglected all night. Like I said, it's a silly defense. Two it's friends defense. fighting two, out. And two chess players. Pawnmaster is fighting the good fight because a lot of young link players think they lack kill power and ddd is extremely hard to kill yeah so you know d is sitting here like 179 percent the pawn master can't get himself on the board finally though with a nice conversion there i mean he's a big body you can combo him but yeah, i mean you need combos you, you really do you can't roll he tried rolling against squid a lot and he was he was flailing in the wind you have to just basically play yeah. kind of defensive kind of run away d3 uh, uh d3 has some pretty good tricks and d3 will is a master at using them to say the least. But yeah, I'm liking the strengths of Pawnmaster, though. I'm liking yeah. the kind of the pieces coming together a little bit. Again, you're at kind of a big deficit, but finding the momentum is the most important part, because this is a best of five set. Oh, yeah. Even if you can't find the traction in game one, if you're Pawnmaster, guess what? You got at least two more games to start finding something. Don't get in the DDD zone. That should be death. Uh, I like that. I like how D3 Will is uh, aggressive enough to go off stage. He realizes he's a stock up. He realizes that you're D3, so you're not going to die anytime soon at that percentage. Yeah, go off. Swat the young Link. And sure enough, game one, go into D3 Will. I can't compete with this guy. He hit the commentator's nos. It's true. Like, I he's can't talking. compete with him either, he's as we talking. just saw. Yeah, shit. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, no, that was a I, great I set. D3. I, I love D3 Will. He's I such was, a fun player. He's I, such was, a, I was rooting for you, man. He's a jovial person. I don't know why you looked at the camera. I don't know. That it's, for, it's for fun, for flavor. For fun. I don't know what happened that provoked it. Though. I'm a showman, first and foremost. Um, no, that's good. You should be. I mean, this is a silly little game. So. It's true. This is my favorite competitive children's party game. <laughs> I will treat it as such. You got to you gotta add some flair in there. It's not all serious. I love pl playing some funny case little in, men. Case in point, we got Toon Link versus DDD. Yeah, Young Link versus DDD. Kind of a goofy matchup. Like yeah. Big Penguin versus Small Child with in, uh, a whole armory of weapons mm -hmm. in their special I kit. I tell you what, it could be worse. I, I look at other regions. And I go, dang, why do you guys even play the game? <laughs> hey, if you got like 15 robs, where are you going, uh, yeah. Tom Mash? That was just such a deceptive recovery. Yeah. I was kind of wondering what the situation there he was. He hit him with the Schnigley. If you've ever played against Schnigley. <laughs> oh, shout out to Schnigley. Know, yeah. You ever see him try to recover and just, he. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He bobs and weaves. He bobs back to the and ledge. weaves. And then it looks like he's going to miss ledge and then he snaps the Beautiful. ledge at like the last second. It's and really an art form. You, you got, if you're a, a character that like wants those magnet hands, you will absolutely finesse oh, the yeah. best route to like pixel perfect to get it. And okay, it just makes sense. I think Pawn Master understands the, okay. the wind kind of like, I can't get near you unless I get a good confirm. Until then, I'm going to rack up damage oh, like this, boy. get some extensions like that. Couldn't get the uh, the other fire arrow, yeah. but missing out. And that the inhales are a fun, tricky, tricky game. I saw Twitter all over that one. <laughs> True. It, it was so close. Oh, that, again, hook shot is a nice tether. Yep. Forward throw, I believe, is a kill throw on Young Link. That bad boy hearts. And speaking of hearts, swing and a miss, swing and a hit, rather. You're dead. And Pawnmaster got the lead. It's good. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, both of these players are phenomenal. Uh, no dump jump, I think, here. Yeah, you are getting swatted out of the air. Again, D3 Real knows when to take the advantage and just take the initiative. You, you think eventually UMD is just going to take over Xanadu? Uh, ideally. I mean, yeah. you got Joe You got a few other, other names. Oh, he gets the check. We will take it as we get it. And now we got fun little bits of neutral. Uh, Pawn Master letting it go a little bit too early, and D3 Will finding it. It's impressive how he's able to weave through these projectiles. That's yes. The airspeed on DDD is so bizarre. It's and, bad. <laughs> yeah, to say the least. It's, he makes it's it look no a lot bueno. better than it is, and the way he's facing his back Absolutely. Airs, like, yeah. You can see that he uses the multiple jumps well, uses the backer spacing. Ooh, the wrong DI, Podmaster. Like, ooh, yikes on that one. This is your doubles partner, bro. You got to know the ins and outs. Another key come watch. Mm -hmm. These low tiers are coming for you. Oh. I like the beautiful, immaculate timing, absolutely. <laughs> D3 will bet it all there. I actually really love that. It's, not, like, a, it's not a huge gamble because he's not going to go off stage. You're not going to die for that yeah, yeah, yeah. because you're heavy. It's like or, pit. You, you can know, just jumps. go out there sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's, no, no, no. no. Uh, speaking of going out there sometimes. Yeah. I don't know about that. Baiting out the jump, but not getting the punish, but still kind of keeping him off stage. Not getting the punish there either. But still, this is Dire Straits, Bomb Master. Yeah. He's, he's swinging at him like a Sultan. Absolutely. 177, still not going to hit with the bounce of Gordo. It's like, my goodness, at this point, it's like, oh, wow. ow, ow, ow. Real raw. That hurt me over here. My goodness. Uncooked. Mm -hmm. you, right. he, he, I, have you noticed that players just start doing the running the, back? Yes. I'm Someone it. didn't know what that was earlier. I think it was on my, it was my stream set. I was like, run it back. And yeah. they just looked at me. I'm like, we running it back? I played against Kyle. He was like, run it back to, run it back to PS2. I thought you'd never ask. We love PS2 in this house. Absolutely, this is the name of the game here in MBBA. And sure enough, look at that. I Back love on it. PS2. 2-0 right now for D3Will. Yeah, it's surprising. Pretty, I mean, Is this as far as uh, D3Will's ever gotten? I think if he wins this, it might be tied for his farthest step. Yeah, I, I never third. see this guy going this deep. Man's making a deep bracket run today. We yeah. got a, this bracket today was absolutely wild. Oh, a yeah. lot of names all over the place. A lot of upsets. Yes, a lot of upsets along the way. And a lot of really one upset person. That is absolutely true. I won't want to speak on it because you I know, do. It, it was really funny. It was very funny. <laughs> it happened to me. I was I was getting ready to get more mortali I, fatality, uh, Mortal Kombat style. Yeah, on, but I was okay. telling uh, J Dog. You know, did you, did you hear Tay Tango lose? And he was like, Yeah, I was outside the venue. <laughs> uh, I was actually just leaving my house. Yeah, sure yeah. enough. But hey, we still got two people in loser side. Ooh. It was a 2.2 on the Richter scale, let me tell you. Yeah, ouch. Can we talk about that down air? Absolutely <laughs> bombastic. Pond Master barely touched as well, like no. the mid percentage. This is actually going to... He's in the DDD zone. He's, oh, he's, you don't have Gordo. That's embarrassing. He's in the pain train zone. Right, Ledge trapped. Now you're in trouble. At triple digit percent. Immaculate bobbing and weaving. Again, if you have a tricky recovery, you absolutely has to, have to use it. Yep. Ooh. And the trick sees on the, the landing first hit of forward air. That's so good from Pond Master. Not a lot of younglings in the region, so he's absolutely putting some work in here. Yep. Oh, ouch, unfortunate for Pondmaster. Jumping right in. I think, that, like, a lot of players, they're going to ledge, they're getting hit off the stage to ledge. Just don't go there, because uh, he's, like, an 80% batting average when you're at the ledge. That's fair. You got to be aware of some of the tricks he's doing. He can, like, jump up fair. Yep. Depends on what he's doing. The Gordo is covering so much vertical space as it bounces. He can press side B, down B, and then hit, kill you. True. And then you can have someone tell you it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Again, just these two are so very careful of like not overextending here because both players like this is an even game just due to the percentage and the kill power present. So neither player really want to give up so soon. You can, again, you can see Pawn Masters opting to just dip out of yep. a situation rather than trying to scrap it up close because he knows that one wrong hit's going to be devastating to the stock, especially with full rage almost online. Yeah. He's having trouble landing arrows though now. D3 was starting to get a little bit more privy yeah, to see. it. Again, the up smash. It just catches you slipping. It's the that cross up. Way far behind. That's yeah. crazy. It's a big old mallet, that's for sure. Wow. What are we going to see here coming in? Uh, again, really nice solid use of inhale. That's going to be more than enough. A little bit of a, an error on D3Rule's part. Getting snuffed out here. Even it was a great empty. That, that's tough to read, especially with. Yes. The, it was, pretty, it was really smart. I like that. Young Link. Throwing some boomerang on the backside there, trying to maybe it trip It doesn't up work as well as, as this does with Belmont, yeah. Yeah. Because it's just going to follow you. 
Oh, oh wow. catching the neutral tech. Ooh, and oh, the reset? Wow. Ooh, Pawn Master, you shouldn't have. Oh, wow. The Gorda bounce as well. Oh, wow. You Absolutely. Hit him again. I'm going to say it again. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. My man's nice with it. My man's yeah, racking up so some pretty. percent. Oh, my wow. man you did is dead. He, well, I'm you not know, sure if it was right DI or not. I didn't see a kill spark, but my man gone. You did just get your jump red at like 60, so. That's tough. That is life. Uh, but the king. Is on is on his way to the throne right now. Minimum bronze uh, because D3 will go into losers finals. F uh, while Lugi is the is the player I was forgetting in this bracket, sitting in losers finals right now. It's that's Ooh. D3 versus Snake. My goodness. Listen, if he beats Snake, I gotta buy him a pack of beer. I tell you what. <laughs> Everyone just give the prize winnings all to, like, 100% of the pot goes to D3 Will. I'll Venmo you, man. <laughs> if you win this... Next one's on me, bro. Yeah, come You've on. It. Absolutely. Well, 